Job chapter 36. Elihu continued and said, Bear with me a little, and I will show you, for I have yet something to say on God's behalf. I will bring my knowledge from far away and describe righteousness to my Maker. For truly, my words are not false. One who is perfect in knowledge is with you. Surely, God is mighty and does not despise any. He is mighty in strength of understanding. He does not keep the wicked alive, but gives the afflicted their right. He does not withdraw his eyes from the righteous, but with kings on the throne he sets them forever, and they are exalted. And if they are bound in fetters and caught in the cords of affliction, then he declares to them their work and their transgressions that they are behaving arrogantly. He opens their ears to instruction and commands them they return from iniquity commands that they return from iniquity. If they listen and serve him, they complete their days in prosperity and their years in pleasantness. But if they do not listen, they shall perish by the sword and die without knowledge. The godless in heart cherish anger. They do not cry for help when he binds them. They die in their youth, and their life ends in shame. He delivers the afflicted by their affliction and opens their ear by adversity. He also allured you out of distress into a broad place where there was no constraint, and what was set on your table was full of fatness. But you are obsessed with the case of the wicked. Judgment and justice seize you. Beware that wrath does not entice you into scoffing, and do not let the greatness of the ransom turn you aside. Will your cry avail to keep you from distress? Or will all the force of your strength? Do not long for the night. When peoples are cut off in their place, beware. Do not turn to iniquity. Because of that, you have been tried by affliction. See, God is exalted in his power. Who is a teacher like him? Who has prescribed for him his way? Or who can say, you have done wrong? Remember to extol his work, of which mortals have sung. All people have looked on it. Everyone watches it from far away. Surely God is great, and we do not know him. The number of his years is unsearchable. For he draws up the drops of water, he distills his mist in rain, which the skies pour down and drop upon mortals abundantly. Can anyone understand the spreading of the clouds, the thunderings of his pavilion? See, he scatters his lightning around him and covers the roots of the sea. For by these he governs peoples, he gives food in abundance, he covers his hands with the lightning and commands it to strike the mark. Its crashing tells about him. He is jealous with anger against iniquity.